you know, when somebody's cheap or, or uh, frugal. Yeah, they, they yeah. have all type of um, versions of it of um, he was a miserable old drunk and blah, blah, blah. It's all it's all. They have their um their own versions of it, but the real version has to do with Jack Napier, Jack in the Box. That's why he tricked the devil. He it, it basically the whole metaphor is how he outsmarted the devil. What I did. Okay, now I'm confused though. So, so Stingy Jack was John Shorn? No. <laughs> he sounds disappointed, but I'm sorry. But you you mentioned you're John Shorn, and now you're saying you're Stingy Jack. John yeah. Shorn, John Shorn casted the devil into a boot. He was oh, known. Okay. So okay. stingy, so stingy you Jack, devil right there in the boot. Right. Uh huh. The Jack in the Box toy comes from that. Ah. Uh, you so you're okay. saying stingy. So you're and, saying and, and stingy why Jack. Would they, why would they? Why would they call it Jack in the Box? Out of everything, stingy. because of me, Jack Napier. Okay, mm. have you ever heard of the term "jack of all trades"? That's Has right. to do with me. Has so, to do with me. I this is the hundred percent truth. I promise you. And the I'm story of Stingy. Huh? Now I'm starting to understand. So Stingy Jack is just another. It's a, just another version of John Shorn's story. Exactly, and in okay. the real, real version, the true version, not no theory, not no. Uh, you know, it's on my channel. It's me, Jack Napier, right? That mm -hmm. he casted the devil into a boot. You see the little devil? He trapped yeah. the devil. He, he trapped him. Stingy Jack did what? Outsmarted the devil. Who's Stingy Jack? Jack Napier. So every Jack in the Box restaurant you see, all that in Canada, Mexico, and America, uh -huh. where, do you, where do you think the origin is from? The person you're listening to right now. Interesting. Why, now, here, why, would here. Buck, why would Buckethead put me on their album cover? Why would Megadeth? Oh, yeah, we forgot to talk about that. For the people watching, they know about this BDA, the, the Illuminati card game. Let's talk mm -hmm. about that real quick. Let's let's yeah. Let most most here. people already know about the Illuminati card game, right? This is gonna for people who still laughing in the chat because they're too stupid to comprehend anything. <laughs> let, let's show the Illuminati card game real quick. There he goes. There he is. Okay, the Illuminati card game is a game that we all know about, right? They they ex they um predicted the twin towers, the Pentagon be exploded, the black activists, Black Lives Matter Kufid. bullshit going on right now, all, everything, right? Yeah. They also have this Plan B card it has to do with me. You see the red and yellow, basically my YouTube channel color, the color of John Shorn. You see he's wearing a red and yellow, and show my um my email, my Let's Be Real ENT email, if you may. There we go. Yeah, Plan B. And if that's not enough evidence for you, show uh, the Megadeth album that put me on the cover. That has Plan B and that has me in the back and on the track business, I know Jack. Right? So if people still don't get it, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, you know? Um, yeah, I'm, you know, some people are beyond help. That's what I've found uh, in my experience. Let's be real, ENT, Plan B at Gmail. That's the Megadeth album with a Plan B suitcase. And in the back, you see me? That's All right. behind the, the big wigs, that's me. Are are these people? Okay, because I'm here's what I'm getting at now. You're saying that it all starts with the legend of John Shorn. You're saying John Shorn, uh, his uh, what you would call them, his escapades are foretold, or actually foretold. They're they're told later on in America as the legend of Stingy Jack. Now I'm starting to get here a little something. Because they're talking yes. about the devil. They're talking Probably. about the devil, right? Now, the devil, in certain cultures, people claim, certain researchers claim that those are the reptilians, the aliens that we're talking about beforehand. So now, can you can you link that, what you're talking about here, the Stingy Jack, John Shorn, to the reptilians? Because I think now people are going to get it. Mm, kind of, but not really. The devil is the devil. I basically sure. made a deal with the devil. Right, I made mm -hmm. a deal with the devil, but in but in that, yeah, I, I did. I made a deal with the devil. Hear me out. But in that contract, I had my own clause, and that's what Stingy Jack represents. How he out—it's just a metaphor. How he outsmarted the devil, right? Sure. Uh, you see John Storm with the devil in a boot. It's just a metaphor. I promise you. It's um, fascinating stuff. To, uh, now, um, show them if you may. I don't mean to tell you what to do and stuff, but if you may, can you show the Buckethead album where he's getting the hand from the, the DNA from the grave? Uh, which if one is may? that? It's a red one and it has like numbers, and um, he's like, there's like a cemetery or something. Is there a chicken too in the? Uh... I think, yeah, I think so. Okay, I, I think, think you so. should be seeing it now. Okay, well, mind you, 
Buckethead, they put that's they put me on one of their album covers, right? Sure. Well, look, this is this represents me. Well, you see the little hand coming out the grave? Uh-huh. There's like DNA cells. That represents John Shorn. That represents how they're t- and the dudes in the back that's all deformed, that's me. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? So it, I'm just- not just Who's who's like nobody knows who Bucket it is, right? Well, I mean, somebody has to know, but for the most part, his his uh, identity is concealed. How does he, how does yeah. he know all about this? Is he into this type of stuff? Is he also a a clone, or what do you he's think? He's at the clone, he's at the cloning centers, and so am I. The thing is, my memory is suppressed. Do you get but, flashes uh, every once in a while, or huh? Do you get flashes of memories back sometimes, or is it all concealed? The only, they, the only what they allow me to uh, to to see and remember. The only thing they've allowed me to see is when I was in the stands stands once, the little arena you see. I was in the stands, mm-hmm. um, and another one where I was laid down on a table and they were drugging me up and fucking with me. That's all I remember. But um, there is something called the awakening. There's something called the awakening around. You're like. This is what Donald Marshall c- confirmation it was his confirmation. If you, if you just research Donald Marshall, and all the information he said, mm-hmm. he talks about the awakening around like 30, 25, 30. They, they um, allow you to remember everything. And once they flick that thing, so you remember it's called the awakening. Now I told you about Jack in the box, right? Sure. There's a, there's a movie they released two movies. One of them is Jack in the box. Part two is Jack in the box, the awakening. This is Jack what the devil the in the boot, what the devil in the boot represents. Huh. What Jack what Stingy Jack represents. I was smarting the devil represents, right? Making a deal with the devil at a, at the same time exposing the devil. Are you li- are you hearing me out? I'm hearing you, man. Yeah, that that's basically um, also I, you guys in the show um the 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 one eye symbol the celebrities that you show it uh-huh. if you may uh, if you may it, show that, the that, one that those one eye symbol. You see the, the the celebrities doing the one eye symbol. Oh, okay, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, That doesn't mean that they're drones. Okay, that doesn't mean that they've been droned. You know, it represents their allegiance. There, they know who runs the show. They know who they take orders from. They know why they better stay in line. That's what that means. The eye on the pyramid, and also those. Yeah, the one eye. So, so, th- so this eye represents what you were talking about with the eye of horrors. Yeah, that that's just a, a lizard. Uh, the you know, symbolism for lizards, for drones. And uh, also the other pictures I sent you with the hand over their mouth, the shh. Yeah. Is this the one? The the big, oh, fuck. Well, it's a little small. Well, yeah, I think people can see it, that they're, they're yeah. doing the shh sign. Yeah. The whole compilation of celebrities, actors, musicians, blah, blah, blah. With the, Canelo the, Alvarez. Um, Canelo Alvarez yeah. and Oscar Valdez do it, yeah. Um, Canelo Alvarez is sponsored by Dolce and Gabbana. That's Illuminati. Dolce mm. and Gabbana. It's pronounced Dolce and Gabbana, but it, it, it represents Dulce. Dulce, New Mexico. Dulce, oh. you know, candy in, candy in Spanish. Dulce. Dulce but, you know, for the, yeah. for, for the English people, you know, I say Dulce. But, it, you know, it's cold. And Gabbana, also, like, what did I say? When you hear someone talking about selling their soul. Oh, yeah. Let me just say this before. I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry. So you see the little picture. You see the little pictures with the shh, shh that represents yeah. the oath of silence. The oath of silence. How if you were to ever ask one of these celebrities that they all know who I am. I promise you, Elon Musk knows who I am. Sandra Bullock knows who I am. Anyways, so I don't give a fuck all that. Look, if you were to ever ask any of these people, who is do you know about Donald Marshall? Is the Illuminati real? Owning centers? You think they're gonna tell you the truth? They're gonna shut up. That's what it represents, the oath of silence. Long story short. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Now okay. this is, I'm telling you, this is all very interesting, man. This is all very, uh, all very informative and eye-opening. Now I gotta, I gotta also ask here, when it comes to to the devil you were talking about, a lot of people. I've always had a hard time figuring out what what people refer to as the devil because the Bible doesn't really refer to Satan as the adversary. That's in other books, and also what most people think about the devil comes from the stories later on, like Paradise Lost, which is not. A biblical text so what is your version like from your research and from what you know what who is the devil what is it and what does he want all right well from my from my from my you know from my work i really don't even want to talk too much about that but um, why, why is that why is that why is that the devil to me is lucifer uh-huh baphomet 
these 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 are the people these are the the entities that um the 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 the, the most high not the most high let me take that back but these people the illuminati they worship bell these are the, these these are the people right here what i'm about to say or the entities baphomet bell mm -hmm. and lucifer they're they're the kings to them okay so all right before we continue with this, let me bring in a couple of people here because I, I know people are anxious to talk to you. You've you've uh, t told us a lot. We're starting to get a better understanding of where you're coming from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite people. So what it's going to do is it's going to disconnect us briefly and it's going to take us to uh, another room. All right. But before you do that, um, BDA, if yes. you may, can you just show a little clip of the show that Fox created after me? Absolutely. Yes. I've been, I wanted, I've been meaning to get to that. Where, where do I go to, to, to look for that? I sent you on the Discord. It should be there. Uh, Prove Fox created a show after me, uh, right? Because this, this is this is what this is what Jack in the Box, the Devil in a Boot represents, right? These, is it, you know, pigs, the pigs, Illuminati, uh -huh. the Illuminati exposing the Illuminati, the Devil in a Boot trapping the Devil, right? Fox really did create a show after me, so right. if you may just real Any, quick. Uh, it's not too long. We can just stop it real quick. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, just don't flag us. By playing, we get your permission here to play your content. Nah, I, won't, I won't. I'll share the video too. I'll share it. All right. It's a. Is there any place in particular you want us to start it off on? Or? I, yeah, just just start. Okay. Just, yeah. This is proof by Fighter Spirit that Fox created a show after him. I've been meaning to watch this. Let's let's get to it. Wait till you see what's premiering tomorrow night. It's called Let's Be Real, and I have two of its stars here with me. Congratulations. Your ratings just tripled by having me here. Rock says hi. Says you're his favorite Wayne's brother. Let's be real. And I'll let you in your event tomorrow on Fox. All right, so what was this? This was some sort of variety was, show? Or? It was basically... It, that was uh, from the mass Singer doing a commercial about it, right? And then I base and um, I'll basically break it down for you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you break it down in the video? What what exactly it is that? Uh... Yeah, Bezos does have the consciousness of a prehistoric lizard, and I am the biggest whistleblower on the planet. I've shown you guys that I joined YouTube September 14, twenty twenty. Here's a description of my channel. Better yet. I want to show you guys a documentary I made. Human clone. Oh, remi remind me to ask you about the Vril Society too, because there's a lot of mystery surrounding that. You mentioned the the Vril lizard, so we're gonna get to that okay. as well. All right. Owning Vril lizards, parasitical drones, everything you need to know. A documentary. How long is this documentary you made? Um, now, I'm not showing the documentary. I just basically show the date that I made this documentary about right, everything the, that I'm talking about right now. December 22, 2020. And then I show how Fox created this show, Let's Be Real, about puppet politicians and celebrities after everything I showed. Because it's after me. I promise you. You know what? It's and interesting. Have, it's interesting that it's true. You, you just mentioned that the puppet, uh, they're not exactly puppets because they're people, but they look like puppets. It's almost as if they're trying to tell you uh what it's all about yeah queen elizabeth is in this there's an episode where queen elizabeth and kanye start dating queen elizabeth has a cloning center in canada she has access to any celebrity the show is made after me there's episode one it's called i got the shot and they're okay. basically laughing at telling people to take the shot i got the shot look show it real quick bro what the I fuck promise. is this what is this Huh? Is all what is that? Hold on, let me let me play it. Be afraid. It's just a little needle. I hate seeing blood as much as the next guy, but trust me, it's worth it. So is that supposed to be OJ Simpson? Who is that? Yeah, OJ Simpson telling you to get the shot. A murderer telling you to get the shot. What does and, that symbolize? And this is from the comedy show on Fox that, that was playing during the election. That is called Let's Be Real. Amazing. I told you, I don't just say stuff to say it. What the f is going on? Yeah, um, why is OJ in this? Yeah, whose idea was OJ? I mean, they got the, uh, they got the celebrities, right? The millennial Zoomer celebrities. They got them all on board for this one. Hey, guys. Wait, wait, he can hear us? Just doing my part. Folks, 
I know that getting shots makes a lot of people nervous, but it's not like you're getting stabbed or anything. <laughs> right? It's, it's satire. It's mockery. They're showing you what these celebrities, their whole purpose is for. Now, for the idiots out there who took the vax or who, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean like that. I'm yeah, sorry. don't be mean. Don't be mean. Yeah. I'm sorry. But look, don't you still, you still, you still believe in your vax? This is something that is quite peculiar, let me tell you. I don't know quite what to make of it. Uh, I, it again, gets I, even crazier. Yeah, Look, I'm, who's I'm, that? I'm, I'm fast forwarding, yeah, and uh, we've got the uh, they've got the Queen of England, and uh, who is that with them? Or with her, rather. Uh, I think Prince, the Prince Looking or some shit. The areas, someone like me. Okay, those are definitely puppets, by the way, because the ones I saw before was people with puppet heads, but these are now actual EDA. puppets. Yes. EDA, the, 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 the effing plot. You can read it on Google. Puppet, politicians, and celebrities, dog. They're showing you. I'm the most truther on the entire planet. I'm not trying to suck my own. It is what it is. Yeah, stop trying to suck your own dick. Let's okay. Let's ch check this one out because now I'm curious about who of officially who they put in there as a creator of the show. So let's go to the Wikipedia page for uh, Let's Be Real. Oh, it's, so, it's Robert Smigel. He's the creator. Robert Smigel. He's produced uh, videos for Eminem. Yeah, he's, he's one of the greatest comedians out there too. Yeah, he, he used to be. For, he used to work for us. SNL, Conan. Yeah, I know who he is. Uh, it originally had an election theme special on October the first, twenty twenty. Now, is there a specific uh, uh, reason why they played it on October the first? Um, I'm not sure. But, well, um, I mean, the, I'm the... asking because you you mentioned Jack in the Box, the, the Jack O' Lanterns, and this is October, so. I mean, possibly, but it, it, it's really irrelevant. There's the, all the proof, you know, I already showed it. It really is. Um, Buckethead, I promise you, Buckethead, he made a, he joined his band, um, Cornbugs. They made a whole album about the Robert Picton. I break it down. The dude who put me on album cover, by the way, even if he didn't put me on album cover, all the stuff I showed you would be enough proof. But just even the more, the cherry on top. I mean, I gotta tell you, this is pretty bizarre, man. The fact that they that they started this in October, there's the Jack in the Box connection. There's a Jack O' Lantern that's usually in, in October. October is also the harvesting season. We know they're obsessed with with the astrological signs that occur during that time. I don't know, Fighter Spirit. I think you might be onto something here. Let me uh, let me get a couple of people on board here. See if they want to join. Like I said, this this is gonna. Disconnect us for a couple of seconds. Just make sure to rejoin the new room. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, how's, how, cool. Hold on a sec. All right. So, uh, how come I can't see? Hold on. I'm trying to find the people here that are that are supposed to be here. Uh, okay. All right. Let's get ready for this one. All right. So, uh, all right. Can you hear me, uh, Fighter Spirit? Are you still there? Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Good. Let me uh, restart sharing the picture here with you so that we are all on the same page. And all right, cool. All right, now I'm I'm curious though. Again, I asked you about the devil. You claim you you claim you beat the devil and you outsmarted him, but you're hesitant to Clearly. talk about him. You, you're hesitant Clearly. to talk about him. Why is that? Because um, people wouldn't understand it, right? They already don't like all this stuff that I'm showing right now. Uh -huh. I've been, this is not something that I just magically pulled out my, you know, I've been talking about this. I've been trying to tell people and most people laugh at me. They don't even take the time to research it, right? But, um, yeah. Hey, Boom Boom Guy in the chat says, Isaac Cappy was the biggest whistleblower, not you. All right. You're not going to dispute that? I don't need to. Um, If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Well, uh, we got Suitsayer dropping by. Suitsayer, I don't know I, I don't know if you've been listening to this whole thing. I think you were because I saw you in the chat. Thank you for being on. And you, anything you want to ask here, anything you want to clarify, you get a clarification from the fighter spirit because he said a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, do you think he's just doing this just to fuck with everybody? I I, I feel like y'all are treating him like it's some kind of joke. Wait, who, who's you? Because I'm asking him questions here with, in good faith. No, not, not, I, not BDA, but the chat. Um, The thing is, um when people don't understand something fear comes in right that, that's all it is i don't take it personal i mean most people are there you know unless they 
take the time to research everything. It's a lot to process, you know? Um, BDA, you can be my witness here, man. Everybody, you know, everywhere would laugh, and they still laugh, but I always believe in, in fighter spirit. I, I'm, I, you actually, you did. You were always, you've always been very supportive and very open uh, about and, and encouraging uh, of fighter spirit for him to come oh, yeah. forth and tell his story. Speaking of fighter spirit, BDA, to keep in mind everything I just showed you, right? Let's be sure. real, all that, and that's uh -huh. just a, that's just a little bit. I have two hundred and some videos on my channel, all mind blowing like this. Um, have you seen the fighter spirit commercials? It's not a coincidence. It has to do oh. with the devil and the jackpots. But Promise again, I, I I hate to push, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push too much because I don't you you clearly don't want to talk about it right now. But at some point, do you talk about the devil and your your adversary in your videos, or or do you leave him alone? Yeah, I usually leave him alone because I don't want people to get turned off. You know, I don't but want people to think I'm I'm a bad person or something. Well, I'm not. I'm really a, I'm not a villain. I'm a I'm a hero. You know. Is this entity after you because of what happened in the past? No, nah, it, it's not. It's not. It's not after me. You know, I, I, I made a deal. Well, I made a deal with the devil. And and if I could just add, isn't it crazy, BDA, that I, you know, I follow Buckethead. I followed him like for almost twenty years now. Whoa! And how how is it that now mine and and fighter spirits uh, paths have met? Now there's no coincidence. That's right. Well, speaking of coincidences, let's let's let somebody wants to talk here. Uh, let's go to the phone lines. Let's go to eight oh three. Eight oh three. You're on the air with the fighter spirit. What's on your mind? Yo, what's going on, BDA? It's me and him. I called a couple times on uh on, on BDA boxing. Uh huh. But um, I just want to drop by and say, you know, everybody that's uh, skeptical or just um, not believing what spirit's saying, there's a lot of subjects and things that he touches on that. I've heard about, I haven't really uh, delved into, so I can't speak on it. And there's a lot of stuff that uh, he says that, you know, people can't verify, but there's one thing, even surface level, uh, and I hate the term cons uh, conspiracy theorists because it's been programmed and, um, and put into people's minds to be something negative, when really mm -hmm. if you just look at the definition of conspiracy, it's just when two people conspire and talk about something, that's all it is, but they just make it into a twofold uh, term, but this this is something that even surface level conspiracy theorists can uh, can agree upon. There's many things that they tell us and show us, and people just ignore it. it it's it's flat out in our faces. Uh, it's um, it's pre-programmed. It's uh, it's right in our faces, and people just choose to deny and not take the time to look into it. I mean, there's stuff right there, like uh, just like in surface level stuff, like Georgia Guidestones, just things like that, where messages and things are on there for people to see for themselves if they just take the time to go ahead and look but people well, but don't exactly they've been programmed they've been brainwashed the they've been uh turning to sheep yes sir go ahead susir yeah yeah you're a great call by the way um if you want to you need to join us at um the discord at let's be real I'm also second renaissance. You would make a great addition. But, yeah, I, I don't see anybody laughing at the Georgia Guidestones or, or, or mocking them. Well, Kohler, you, you, you bring up some well, good points. Yeah, maybe there's... Yeah, Kohler, so I was going to say real quick. I was going to say real quick. You yeah. bring up some good points about the, the, the term conspiracy, and it's difficult to... Because, I mean, most of us here have been uh, researching this uh, for the past, of, you know, at least 20 years. So we're pre we've pretty much heard it all so that when we hear something new, it's kind of hard to shock us. But you got to put yourself in the place of somebody that's just starting out and they hear Fighter Spirit talking about clones, how he's a clone, underground bases. What's, where do you fall in this, in this whole thing? Do you try to be as skeptical as possible? Do you... Uh, are you? Do you shun? Or what, are there certain conspiracies that, that you stay away from? Like, give us your breakdown of, of what you think is going on here. So I agree 100%. Uh, like you said, people that are just starting to get into cons conspiracies or uh, or searching for the truth. Um, of course, when you bring and you mentioned earlier, I heard you telling uh, Fighter Spirit that you know his mind is running uh, a thousand miles a minute. It's just that when you like you said, people that have looked into this, this stuff and, and, and are out for the truth, there's so much to uncover. There's so much to learn that when you try to uh, 
share this information with everybody. It's just too much to, uh, to touch on. It's just so many subjects and things. So you, your mind just jumps on one thing to the other. But when it comes to uh, what I believe in, what's going on, the truth, I mean, dude, there's so much going on, man. There's so much. Uh, I know we're on YouTube and you have to be, you know, uh, you have to be careful. And you have to censor what you say. You have to tiptoe around what you say uh, in regards to uh, what's been going on the past couple of years. But just stuff like that, that's surface level. I mean, you can look that up. And, again, that goes along with what I brought up before about the Georgia Guidestones. Uh, there's uh, multiple stuff on there, but one of the main things is I think it's never let the population rise above 500,000. Just stuff like that. Just There's many things that go hand in hand when you take the time doing the research. And when uh, Fighting Spirit talks about um, – who these individuals are. I don't know who they are, but I do know whether they're human or they're not human. There's, there's something going on in the background. Uh, they're clearly out to um, control the population. They're clearly not out for our best interest, whether it's uh, the higher ups that we don't know about or just surface level, the government. Uh, people like to say, you know, they shit on the government and, and they don't have faith in them. But when you try to break it down and you ask them and you go into conspiracy territory, then they say, oh, no, the government would never do that. Yet, you know, you've seen time and time again the government has lied to us. They've showed us on networks that they control, major news networks, that it's come out because, you know, the information can't be hidden anymore, that they've lied to us. But people, they just turn a blind eye because they've been programmed. And how it's displayed to us is in a way where it's, it's comical, it's a joke. You know, they look at these cuckoo, these conspiracy theories, these tinfoil hardwares. It's They're nutcases. But, you know, yeah. Uh, well, let me Again, ask you this, caller. caller. You sound like you're a guy, like I yes, said, sir. you sound like you're a guy that looks into this and doesn't just, uh, like you haven't just started looking into this yesterday. So when it comes to uh, what Fighter Spirit is saying, he claims he's a uh, he's the clone, he's been cloned from John Shorn's DNA and that he, he uh, tricked the devil. What do you think about that? Are you considering what he's been saying? Are you going to look into this more? Are you, are, has your curiosity been piqued by his story? Uh, I mean, will I look into it? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take the time to look into it, but does it surprise me? No. I mean, I listen, it's to the point where I've looked up and I found so much craziness going on in the world that nothing surprises me anymore. You know, I don't know what's exactly. really going on. I know what, I, I know what they're, I know what they're telling us. And, and people say, you know, they're not, they, could, they couldn't tell us, you know, these, uh, these outlandish things. There's no way it's real. They're mm -hmm. telling us this. You just aren't taking the time to look into it. But if you do look into it and you don't believe it, you've been programmed to believe that it's not real and then it's all cuckoo nonsense. Again, I've gotten to the point, and I'm sure you guys are like this too, where there's some points where you're not going to delve into and there's some stuff that you don't believe in, but you have an open mind to, and there's some stuff that you do believe in. But there's stuff that if you tell people they don't believe it, it's gotten to the point where, listen, I'm not here to change your mind. That's my philosophy in life. I'm not here to change anybody. You are you. This is your life. For me to change you would be wrong. You're your own individual. All I can do is just lay out the information, show you some doors. It's up to you to go through those doors and see what's behind it. Other than that, I'm not here to change your mind. Very well you said, Caller. You your own research. Very well said. Why did you say your name was again? Oh, it's Mina. I called a couple times on BDA. Mina? Uh, BDA boxing. But uh, actually, I'm in, your, uh, I'm in your Discord, and I was... Uh, I had a conversation with you gentlemen uh i think it was like december or earlier this year about uh religion uh and, and demons and stuff and uh i was wanting to get back on a, a second renaissance show just eat, maybe not even to talk but just to listen in the background because i don't want to have my phone on you know well listen stream, uh, if that's if, possible if you are on the discord just send me a message on there and uh, we'll get you if you even want to jump on <laughs> yeah, right now send, send me a message too yeah, yeah well, that's a good call all right. Thank you, gentlemen. And I'm going to send you a message for sure. Fantastic. Thank you for calling in, man. Great call. Yes, sir. All hey, right, let's BDA. go. Yeah. Uh, yes. Is it a coincidence that I'll be at work, man, and then something, I get a feeling, man, in my head, not a yeah. voice necessarily, but but a feeling that something's wrong with uh, with fighter spirit, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll hit him up. You know, there's too many coincidences. Our, our lives, our, our, path, our paths have come um, together. Sounds like you guys got a connection for sure, man. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A higher power brought this together, brought us together, all of us, a hundred percent. 
And now the question is for what purpose? Before we get to that, let's go. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, fellas. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the like. Really appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It's time to spread the silver scrolls to the uninitiated. Let's get to uh, another caller here. 310. 310. You're on the air. 310. What's on your mind? What's going on? Boom, boom, guy. Oh. You know from where? Boom, boom. What's, What's up, up, man? Yeah, I just want to say the fire spirit, it seemed like you went really deep in this. And I, I'm not saying he's crazy because uh, a lot of this shit in the world is crazy. And I wouldn't say everything he's saying is true, but because uh, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to prove unless, you know, you got it on video or you can, you know, really take a picture of it. But uh, I know it's some crazy stuff out here. I went off on the far end and I sounded crazy to a lot of people, but what brought me back to center is, man, I got to get up and go to work. Uh, so I'm my ask fighter spirit to the average person, you know, with what you're saying, how do, what do they do? Like, of course, not take the vaccine, but what direction are you giving them? Like, how can they apply this in their everyday life? Because even question. if you don't take the vaccine, they could put it in the, they could put it in the food, they could put it in the water. But so what are you telling with all this stuff you're saying? What are you telling the average person? Like, guiding them to do like what excellent should they look out question. for in their excellent. everyday life it's an excellent question fighter spirit what advice would you give people out there well i say it all the time i never claim to be a guru or gandhi i'm shitting on these rappers i could use a porter potty right oh i, I say it all the time i'm not here to be Mark. you know the enlightened gandhi to tell you how to there's people out there who who are more skilled than me there's people out there who get more girls than me there's people out there who can do things that i can do but i also can do stuff you can't do right I'm not, I never claim to be no Gandhi. I'm just here to wake people up about the people who run the planet. When the, you've heard, you've heard about the Illuminati, right? Conspiracies and dumb YouTube videos. That's how mind control works. Now, when people think about the Illuminati, it's a joke to them. Oh, dumb YouTuber. Oh, no, but, but the Illuminati runs the world. That's what I want to wake people up to. The, also, the others, um, the drones, right? Because a lot of people don't want to fathom this. But it's 100% real. They're taking over the whole planet already. Now, how I get, I, I, I'm curious to. Oh, go ahead. Boom, boom. Go ahead. Uh, boom, boom. You're still How's there? How's the audio? Is it coming in clear? Yeah, you're still there, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. All right. Is there a question? You, you want to keep going with a question or should We're we move on? Yeah, well, I was just uh, trying to say because, you know, it's a lot of, I listen to a lot of black channels too, and they talk about, you know, Egyptian stuff and all this ancient history. But, I, you know, and it's fascinating. I like intellectual masturbation. Like, I like the conversation. I have no problem having the conversation. But it just comes to, okay, how do you apply it in your everyday life? Like, yeah. what Fighter Spirit is saying, like, I, I totally agree with. It. But some of those aliens, I'm never going to see, or the average person is never going to see. You know, unless you're like in Hollywood where all that craziness is going on. But on the everyday life, you know, just if he got anything. No, no, that, that's, that's what you think. But you, you've seen them before, most likely. They're everywhere. Like you walk around, you, you've been to a store, you've seen a drone before. They're just, you, it's a human being. It just has the consciousness of a real lizard that's been body snatched. You feel me? But more than likely, you've came across one of these things before. They just mimic human behavior. But uh, I feel yeah. you, though. I feel you. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 I no... look into... Huh? Yeah, I like the movie They Live. That was a perfect example of what you're talking about. Yep. The movie They Live yep. with, uh, you yep. know, Roddy Piper. Yeah. And also... um. So, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, I, I'm not going to lie. I like it. I'm a fan. You know, I don't discredit everything you say, but it's going to come off crazy to a lot of people just because, you know, it's unbelievable. That's right. But, uh, That's... yeah, boom, boom. I'm, I'm going to keep listening in. I'm still at work. All right, hey, shout out to you, uh, Brandon. Why you call the today, man? I tried to call in. All right, All right. Peace, man. Take it easy. Thank you for calling in. Actually, excellent, excellent point he made about how you can spend too much time... Uh, you know, waddling in these conspiracy theories, but ultimately, it's it's difficult to know if you've encountered them, especially if you, like you said, fighter spirit. If you're dealing with with beings that are uh, that have some sort of a, a, a chameleon aspect to them, you you never know. So again, I ask you, what are the? Oh, go ahead, John. You gonna say something? Uh, yeah, fighter spirit. What do you think of people in like certain religions? Do you think those are part of drones that got like maybe hypnotized by uh, the higher power, like you know that that's against them or against humans? Because I'm trying to figure out like different ways where those uh, powers can like uh, indoctrinate uh, people in mass, and would religion be one of them? 
A hundred percent. The Bible is not. The Bible is a, is a book of mixed truths. And a hundred percent, these vrills, these drones, these Freemasons have took all the history, the real facts, and flipped it around, burned it for their for their own benefit. True. Are certain are certain races or ethnicities like uh, more uh, prone to become drones? <laughs> no, no, they don't. The ones pretty much the same. Yeah, they don't. Do uh, you know what a drone is, though, right? Yeah. What is a drone? It's like those things that fly in the air that you control, like with your phone and shit, right? Uh, did you just get in the show? That's not what a drone is. A drone is somebody who. <laughs> a, dr- <laughs> a drone. I'm just joking. Yeah, guys. Somebody, it's, it's somebody who's been yeah, taking over. No, yeah, I, I don't know. It's somebody who's been, been taking over now. Hey, BDA. Yeah, no. BDA, if you may, I sent you a video on the Discord of Sandra Bullock. She mentions and gives code about being chipped and being followed by drones. And that video that they posted on the YouTube channel, they took that video down as soon as I grabbed it and put it on my channel. So you won't find it anywhere. I swear to God, on everything I love. Well, maybe it's because it's from a movie, right? No, it's a, it's a news clip. She's at uh, an interview with Good Morning America or something. Uh-huh. It's not it's not copyrighted or anything. If, if you may, just play real quick. It's very important. It's um, uh, She gives code about chips and drones. All right, let's see what's up. Because hey, because the reason why I mentioned this because she was in a movie in the nineties when the internet had just become mainstream, and the the plot of the movie was about her being chased around by a bunch of agents. So it's quite interesting that. Well, let's see what she says here. Let's see if it, it lines up with that. And do you okay. Think about those kind of things with your son. Twenty four seven. Is a parent of a black child? You have to. You know. It's- wait, 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 she's she's got a black child. <laughs> I'm just asking. What the fuck? Well, anyway, let's keep watching. With your son, twenty-four-seven. As a parent of a black child, you have to. You know, as a, a, a white woman, I didn't have to think about that until the day I fell in love, like I did, and you realize that there was a whole universe that you had to educate. She looks like Michael Jackson when he turned white. But anyway. Yourself too, and then once you see it, you can't unsee it. Are you ever concerned about when your son's out without you? One thousand percent. One thousand percent. I think about it all the time being a young man and it scares the shit out of me i'm gonna say because it's it's scary yeah he, i always made a joke i go if i could wait wait wait. what are they talking about i don't get it so basically they're doing the whole bullshit black people are victims agenda and she's purposely she's a puppet she's they were she was ordered to do this to saw her black son's a victim being chased by cops and but to prove that she was ordered to do that, like the puppet, the racial division shit. So you guys know that I speak facts. I don't just, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. To prove that that was just a puppet shit, she was, right after that, she mentions the chips and drones. Hmm. Well, let's see. Put a chip in you, and it was okay, I would do it. And then I would have a drone that would alert me, and the drone would follow you, and I would have you on my phone. I said, that's... Uh, so she's saying for the safety of her child, she'd be willing to... If I could put a chip in you, I would. And then I'll have a drone follow you. Everything that I've been talking about. See, a clone, uh, the human clones have chips in them. It's called a soul stone microchip, a consciousness chip, a soul catcher, different names, right? And then the drones are someone who's been parasitically taken over by a real lizard, a parasitic host of real. It's just cold, right? And that video, I, if I'm lying, I'm dying, BDA. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Strike me down. That video, that mm-hmm. video that you just saw of the news clip, once I saved it into my phone, they took it down. No from kidding. that, from that, yeah. But so, I mean, uh, hey. so, so, from what I can surmise, you're presupposing that there is a soul uh, that, that that is indeed real. Say that again. You are saying then that we all have a soul. Yeah. Question. A hundred percent. Question: Can these clones, hey. can these clones or drones, be reversed into you know becoming not what they are? No, once a person, it's over. Mm-hmm. No, well, Plus. well. Um, see, the thing is, these it happens during sleep. REM, the cloning. They they get now. There's clones. There's different type of clones. Mark ones, Mark two, Mark three, Mark four. The Mark fours are basically like the top of the line ones. That you can, they're out here in this dimension, walking around, top of the line. The Mark and also fighter. Um, hello. Yeah. Yeah, and also don't forget to mention the REM, the band. Remember losing my religion? In oh yeah, but they were drones. Also, um, see the REM duplicate clones. Whenever you hear someone say selling your soul, basically means to get cloned. 
And every night I sleep, they don't have dreams or nightmares anymore. They just have clone memories. They around an hour into and this is a hundred billion percent fact. So just take it to what I'm to consideration what I'm saying. Every night when they go to sleep around REM phase of sleep, they have this machine that will let them know because they're chipped. They have they have a chip in this clone and this chip. The Prisoners of Dose Beige, the book, talks about it. talks about everything that I'm saying right here, just in a different way. Right. This chip is, is, is known as a soul stone microchip, and they, they know when the when you're in bed, an REM phase of sleep, and they transfer your consciousness into this clone, because if they don't wait until REM, it'll be all fuzzy and messed up. You'll be like half awake, half, you know, it'll be fucked up. So they wait until you're in REM phase, and then they, tr so the, the real you is in bed sleeping, but they transfer your consciousness into a clone that's in these military bases. When the real you wakes up, that clone drops limp. It gets your clone, puts you back on a, a, a rack, stuff tubes down your throat, and they feed them this liquid. Simple, you know, it's that sounds simple. Very, and, sounds very tasty. Yeah. But I gotta, I gotta say, yeah, John, so I, I, I hope that answers your question. It makes sense because, I mean, essentially what they're doing is they're hacking your body. So once you get hacked, you never go back. That's what they say down there. That's yeah, what, that's and, and, and to answer his question, as like far a, as the, the droning stuff, once you get parasitically taken over by a drone, you're dead. You, you, you get your consciousness taken over by that lizard. You're now just a host a, what, with what, the lizard. But where, is it, where okay, do you go I'm, then? But, but if, somebody gets, if somebody gets possessed, where do they go? Where does their soul go? They, it just gets trapped? That's that's for you know. I, I hope I never find out. I hope oh. I never find out because I don't want to get droned. You know. I was gonna say, um, like, is there a certain way where we can uh, like find out who's a drone and a clone, or you know, which yeah. uh, which marks they are? Question. Good I point. don't want. I don't want to fucking be around any fucking drones or clones. Like they sound like they good, might good. like you know take advantage of me when I'm asleep. That's Fuck true. That. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. You can tell who's a drone. Very good question. Sometimes. It's an excellent tell question. Who's a drone. Because their their eye would be a little bit slanted out. Jeff Bezos, the, I think he's the richest man in the world now. He's a parasited host of real. And mind you, mind you, remember I told you guys that parasited host of real drones, whatever. They they mimic human behavior, but all they care about is sex, droning other people, and just torturing other people. Right? Did you guys see that video of Jeff Bezos and his girl and Leonardo DiCaprio? And there, his girl was like thirsting over Leonardo DiCaprio. No. You guys haven't seen that. Video? Maybe somebody in the chat seen a video of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was um, uh, Jeff Bezos and his wife, who's also a drone, because they drone others, right? Hold on a second. Um, I'm sick. There's okay. a video of, of, of Le uh, Jeff Bezos' wife and, and looking at Leonardo DiCaprio like they wanted to, they wanted to taste them. Because all they care about is sex, and there's proof right there. And I, I made a whole video about it with nothing but evidence, right? Let me understand something. You're saying that they're, it's, it, they're tr when you say they want to get a taste of him, you, you mean they actually want to eat the guy or they want to consume his flesh? Is that what they you're wanna saying? Have, they want a little bit of everything, have sex with him. They want to, you know, they want to have sex oh, with you him. Know what? You know what? There was some chick who had smelly breath by the name of Brenda that I <laughs> fucked and her eye was kind of wonky and shit. And I don't know, man, she might have been a drone, but they, you know, I never slept with her, but I just fucked her. Was that okay, or you know, could I be in danger? And it was like three or four years ago. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! How tall is Leonardo DiCaprio? Are these people? Is he on a, on a flight of steps or something? Or because he looks like he's about seven feet tall, and Jeff Bezos looks like he's a midget. What's going on here? Yeah, he might be like on a little stage as they're like a barrier right there. Between, right. You know? Yeah, and you can see that his his uh, Bezos girlfriend is just eye fucking DiCaprio. It? Yeah. But I'm telling you, drones. Now, if, if a drone has a wife or a girl, she's going to get droned. They only care about droning other people, torturing other people, and sex. They're, they're sex addicts. And look, more evidence. And I also show on my video about Jeff Bezos where he has a picture. BDA. He takes a, hold on, he takes a picture with an iguana, right? Like right there with an iguana showing his lizard roots and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Let me, yeah, let go me. Ahead, so yeah, go ahead, Susan. Um, so, do you remember the Kanye? Go ahead, Susir, man. Come on. I think he's All cutting right. off. Yeah, he's cutting. Well, no, I mean, I heard him. I don't know. I, I think his wife is telling him, uh, get off that fucking show. Uh, I wanted to ask you then, what, when these people 
get a get a drone and, and when the, well these people when these entities possess somebody are they getting off on it sexually no no um what do you like when they drone somebody do they like does it feel good to them or do something? they get off on it yeah or well, it tastes like butterscotch to them when the when the lizard releases the parasitic cells it will taste like butterscotch to you before you get taken over. I know that much, but um, once it takes takes you over, you're dead. It, you you have the consciousness of this real lizard, this prehistoric nasty lizard. Interesting. And your and your consciousness, you 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 just I don't I don't want to find out what happened. But yeah, that's what Our, the eye of horse represents. The dollar bill with the eye and the pyramid, because those pyramids, uh -huh. I made a whole video about it. They're lizard traps. If you look at the way they're drunk, they're truncated pyramids. If you look at the way they're built. The, you go in, but it's too steep to get out. They're just lizard traps. Drill lizard traps everywhere. And the Sheesh. eye on the dollar bill represents droning because a, a proboscis goes through the eye, right? Mm -hmm. Now, since you're a clone, are you immune from being droned? Or are you still like the rest of us? Are you uh, open to being uh, taken over and molested? Yeah. They, 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 yeah. If they were ever to get to me, which they won't because I'm protected, like most likely, if like any intruders were to come around my house, they would uh get stopped before they even get to here because I'm monitored and I'm protected. I know it by, sounds by crazy, but we well, no, 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 you're not crazy, but I'm we're just curious who's protecting you. Um, you can say some agents, some um, just some people from the CIA, some people from the FBI, just stuff you like know, that. I'm protected, and I know I'm, it's I'm very, because, um, yeah, yeah, um. But if they were ever to want to get to me, that's what they would do to me. So they can do it in a way where people wouldn't know. If they were to just kill me, take me out, look at how suspicious it would be. So what they do is drone people now. They did it to Old Dirty Bastard, um, some rapper who back in the 90s who came out talking about the Illuminati, about sure. the chemtrails in the sky, about everything. And just little subtle cold way, too. They, he didn't even put it out like that. Just little cold. They droned him. They took him out. They twacked his mind out, put him under MK Ultra, and just droned him, and then he ended up having a heart attack. Cause they, they, but he was been dead. They just now, they I'm curious. Do, I'm, that's what's in, interesting to me, that the fact that you've, you've said so much. You've talked about underground bases, extraterrestrials, taking over humanity, call, uh, turning them into drones, you being a clone. I, I, know when I, ask you question I know what your next question is, BDA. Then why would they allow me to, to put all this stuff out? No, the that's not what I was going to ask <laughs> The prisoners no. of Dose Bay speaks about it, how there's two parts of the government, the Illuminati and the prisoners. You ever hear them talking about the political prisoners? The whole sh the whole sh symbolism is for people to wake up. They want what I'm saying to be released. It, the whole, they, saw, they want the symbolism to be out. Hence why it's me, 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 Jack you. in a Box is created after. When you, you see the Jack in the Box is out there, what is it going to remind you of? Me. You. Right? Right. Yeah, you. But now, uh, uh, super uh, super sardonic in the chat says he's got a double VPN. Is that your secret? Is that is there a specific VPN that you would suggest to the people out there to protect themselves? Oh, thank you for reminding me, BDA. Well, it was super thank sardonic. Thank you but... for reminding me. You're welcome. What did I tell you in the beginning, BDA? I, mean, I don't. I forget. You said so much, man. The CIA is listening to this right now. It, this will be monitored. Can you go on yeah. our Discord real quick, bro? Sure. Show the. The, the the video I showed you of the New York Times putting me on their site real quick. Uh, hold on a second. So you guys know that I I don't just talk to say stuff, right? So you That's guys right. know. You back it up with receipts, as they say in the community. Yeah. Uh, which, yes, which which one was it? I'm I'm looking f uh, through it here. Uh, uh it's a it's like the. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Um. Uh, maybe. Quick it's, question, uh, fighter spirit. Yes. At what age did you start waking up to all this? Because like I, I'm fucking thirty right now, and I barely started waking up to this. That's when you when you started talking about it. But like, what what age did you start realizing all this shit? Um, just recently, really. But I always knew about it intuition, intuitive, intuition, intuitively. Um, go up. Wait, wait. Uh, nah. So it? you didn't right there, right there. The um okay. where it says that they kind of want to believe. Now put it big screen. Uh huh. This is from the New York Times, right? This is from 2019, right? Say the video, BDA. Mind you, I showed you that they put me on a bucket album, right? Right. So sure. you guys see, they also put me on the the New York Times. 
Why? Why would they do that? Me, who just showed you all this. Is Wait, it what? Is that you? 100% that's me, bro. Look. Wait a minute. It's not... A uh, BDA, yeah. I I've been trying to tell you guys. I I'm crazy. Oh, silly me. That's me. No Photoshop, none of that. They put me wait on the New York Times. BDA, wait BDA, wait BDA, BDA, BDA. No, 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 BDA. no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're saying because you told me. Listen, I can buy the fact that you're the clone of uh, John Schron, uh, Schron, and I can believe that, that that was all related to the to the. It became the legend of Snippy Jack, Stingy Jack. Now you're telling me you were a uh, an astronaut? Please explain that. <laughs> one, please. No, they're they're mocking me. They're mocking me, and also, um, they knew they kind of put that out because they knew that I was gonna expose all this, right? And I'm crazy. What do I know? Well, look, more evidence. Just in a, in a nutshell. What's the mockery kind of here? Scared VDA. I'm getting scared a little I'm bit too myself. But what's the mockery here? Uh, what, what is, how are they mocking you? Because they never went to the moon, and oh. I fucking hate Elon Musk. He's a fucking Elon Musk knows who I am. Most likely, he has something to do with this with his bitch ass. Did you say that Elon uh, be beforehand? Because maybe I lost you. But did you say that he's a drone too? Is that what you claimed? No, no, no. He's just a puppet, a prisoner. Yeah, he controlled the opposition. Yeah. Wait, before, before, before we carry on, do you believe that that's me, BDA? I don't. I know. do, BDA. Well, of course, John Wood, he's a man of good faith. I got to tell you, I'm a little bit more skeptical on this one, uh, Fighter Spirit. That's I got to tell you. Bro, that's me. How are you going to tell me who the... Bro, I'm, that's me. I promise you. And how I know this, because everything that I just exposed is true, bro. I promise you. Buckethead put me on an album. Megadeth put me on an album cover. Um... <laughs> Well, let me, let me, let me, let me help understand a little something here. When you first, when, this article is from, hold on, let me just rewind this. This is from, well, it doesn't say. When did you first see this 2019. article? Okay. 2019. 2019. 2019. When you first saw this, did, did you immediately understand that that was you or that, that, that it was meant to be you? Or how, how do you, how did you come to the conclusion that they were mocking you? Because... I'm on a fucking New York Times page as an astronaut. I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> That's okay, me. Well. And, and how um, did you feel? How did you feel they, when you first saw? How did you feel when you first saw it? Were you angry? Were you, did you try um, to? Yeah. I I was just it was just like oh okay cool more evidence. Um I wasn't scared. I wasn't paranoid that they're watching me. I already know how the shit goes down. Uh, they're what people cry about China and all that, bro. Motherfuckers have no idea that the USA is a parasite land. This is one of the most corrupt fucking places on earth. Sorry to burst your bubble. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry to, for the patriots out there, the good old freedom. You people need to wake up and realize what your government is. Why, did they, why didn't they announce Bivol of him being from Russia? Why do they That's do sneaky, point. grimy right. shit like that? They're the heroes. Why? That's my what, question. Uh, fighter spirit, yeah, let me exactly, ask you this. Man. I always warn people about the American greed. But now I know it's not greed. It's the fucking parasite, man. That's You're right. Fucking right, man. Fighter Spirit, let me ask you, man. Based on, just to piggyback off of what John's talking about here, you're talking about the USA. Is there a specific country or countries that have more drones on average than others? I think probably China. You're saying probably it has more as, as much as I talk shit and all that, right? But the, right. my point is not that I fucking love China. The Chinese government are so perfect. My point is that look around, buddy. Smell the coffee. It ain't that greater over here. Smell the Chinese I tea. Is what that you're saying. Picture that I just, that picture that I just showed you. That's mm -hmm. me right there, bro. Promise you. I can believe it. Now listen. And, 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 and that should tell you guys something. Wake you guys up to something. But hey. And by the way, I've never talked about this BDA ever. Well, I've it, never it, on my own YouTube channel. I've never. Um, even showed my face, so I didn't want to talk about that. But this is exclusive content. Yeah, we're getting the, the full exclusive only on on Second Renaissance. Just what what a what a way to start, to continue uh, Second Renaissance week here. We got Fighter uh, Spirit giving us the exclusive. Everyone's glued to their computers, just listening to what he's saying. HB uh, HBTC, you're on the, the Discord here. Thank you for jumping in. What, what did you wanna What did you wanna say? No, no, no. I was just uh, I'm letting Fighter Spirit talk, man. He's on fire. I'm just letting him drop gems. But I was just gonna say uh, just a little interjection. If it wasn't China, it definitely have to be the UK. Huh. The second best uh, or second amount of droning. 
UK is just it's a uh, it's um, a wild west over there. It's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree. It's a good point. Um, the English, the the royal family, and all that. Queen Elizabeth, she's ba Queen Elizabeth, Vladimir Putin, and some higher up Chinese people basically run the cloning centers. Well, the one in yeah, they yeah, all of them basically. They're 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 at the cloning centers. I promise you. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, because people often say that the reason why China and maybe other Asian countries, they're, they're more obedient is because they follow the Buddhist principle in the microcosm and in the microcosm. In other words, uh, the family is a microcosm of the state. So the, the, the leader of the country is the father and you follow that lineage and you, you keep obeying him. And that's why they say Chinese people are more like uh, worker ants. They can, you can mobilize them quickly. But you're saying that it's not necessarily because of the culture, but it's because most of them are drones. Am I getting that right, Fighter Spirit? Or... No? Fighter Spirit is it's muted? muted? Yeah, I think uh, he's having some issues there. Well, listen, uh, man, he's, he's like you said, he's, oh, he's back. Go ahead, Fighter Spirit, there. My bad. Yeah, I, I just wanted to, yeah, my bad. I was muted. Um, As far as the government, yes, it's the same over here. That's why they're so evil on the media. They insult our intelligence. They know we know that they know we know they're full of shit, yet they continue on with their games because they're not human. And the others are political prisoners that want to... What can we, what can we do to uh, keep ourselves from being cloned? Stay away from any governmental uh, White House. Stay away from it. Uh, Joe Rogan was invited to the White House and he didn't go. Did you know hmm. that? He even said hmm. it on his on his uh on his uh, podcast. And he knows. And he and you know why he didn't go? Because you know he knows what was going to happen to him. He knows everything that I'm saying. Joe Rogan is at the cloning center. Uh, wait, okay, now you're blowing our minds here. Joe Rogan was at the cloning centers. Joe Rogan attends the cloning centers. For what purpose? Because he has one of the biggest podcasts in the world. I was gonna he say yeah. sold out. He's and sold I'll, out. I'll just I didn't want to say that I wanted to let uh I wanted to let Spirit uh say it himself, but in my opinion at least, I think Joe Rogan's controlled opposition. He may have controversial guests on there and may have topics and uh and uh and um podcasts where he touches uh subjects where people think, you know, he's quote unquote awake and speaks for the truth, but no, I, in my he's, opinion, I agree with Fighter. He controls. He, he, yes. could, he, could he, he could potentially be a, the perfect drone and clone weapon. Because he has a massive you know? audience. He, yeah, exactly. No, um, Joe Rogan does is the best he can to get the truth out. You know when he brought Eddie Bravo through? Mm -hmm. he, yeah. Agreed, yeah. He, he, he agrees 100% with everything Eddie Bravo said. He just has to play his role. I promise you. He, that's the only way he can do it. Now, um, mind you, recently Ed, Joe Rogan brought Mike Tyson on his podcast. I don't know if you guys seen that clip where Mike yeah. Tyson went on this podcast and talks about how the elites are hunting homeless people. This is a, you know, a couple of days after they do their damage control and put this fake ass video out of Mike Tyson attacking some dude and a dude, it was faker than a $3 bill just to distract people from what he just said. And in that very video BDA of him uh -huh. talking about the elite in the Joe Rogan podcast of the elite, he also mentioned right after he said it, that the Fox is the hardest to catch. And it's just cold for me. Fox created a show after me. Are, are there, ha, have there been ever been any celebrities that have the balls to mention you by name directly and not through any uh, symbolism or subterfuge? No. Um, recently, hey, the um, most recent, the most recent one, the most recent one was Megan Thee Stallion. She didn't mention my name, but she dropped. Remember, I, I went on your show, talked about Plan B and everything. Absolutely. She. Re he recently just dropped a song called Plan B. And Megan Thee Stallion has yep. posted clone symbolism on her Instagram before. She posted a picture of her in a septic tank and said, loading. And they made her delete it. Well, yep. recently she released a song called Plan B. That's But so, um, I told people in one of my videos, you're going to start seeing all hey. these people give hints about Plan B. And they did. She did. Fighter. Yo. Fascinating. And... and and, and, and also, there's there's a clue hidden right in front of our eyes. And when he was talking about that the elites want the homeless people, if, if anybody's ever played Grand Theft Auto 3, um, the homeless people, one of their lines, um, one of the NPCs walking around, their, their, their recorded line 
to say is reptilian death ray gotta be huh after everything after everything that i expose y'all uh megan and stalin releases her song called plan b it's not a coincidence i promise you i just showed you what i showed you about fox about them putting me on the new york times page i'm not it's always gonna it's I'm always gonna sure. be sub yeah it's always gonna be subliminal right like they can't fucking outright and like call you out because if they do so that kind of that kind of gives you a spotlight and everybody a lot of more people will follow you and that will kind of fuck them over is that correct no they want what i'm saying to get out because i'm how do you put it i'm the their 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 key to freedom basically right because and it's not even about me freeing them it's about me freeing me that's what that devil in the boot represents but that's a whole other story they want what i'm saying to get out but they can't come out and say it because they're constantly monitored they're constantly followed and they won't even nowadays they don't even care to like assassinate people they don't have to do that anymore they have the media that's what they, they use the media they can literally they they call it the highlight reel they'll have your clone under mk ultra film him doing some sick shit and they'll use that footage to threaten you with they don't even need to kill you no more. They'll literally just slander your character on the media. The whole world hates you now. It's, like, it's just that simple. And trust me, you guys might think like, I don't care what people think about me. But let's say you, there's a video of you sucking a kid's dick off or something. I, you're going to care, right? Well, I, yeah, I know John. Really I know John. The, really level of, the, the level of sickness that they'll go to. You don't understand this. <laughs> the people who are running this world, they're sick. I, you don't very, understand. It's head of the level of perversion. It's a level yeah, of perversion we would never understand. Now, Fighter Spirit, let me ask you this. Have they ever come to you and offered you some sort of financial incentive to keep your mouth shut? No. No. That um I don't I'm not a part of the I'm not a bad person. I'm not I'm literally like um how do you say it? Like what the devil in a boo represents. I I trapped the devil, I tricked the devil. Right? That's the best way I could put it. I gotta tell right. you, one one of these days you gotta get into the devil, your history with he, she, whatever it might be, and why you're. Because uh, listen, here I think you've seen it. Bef uh, the proof's in the pudding. You're in a safe place. You're amongst friends here. The people that want to understand your story. So uh, hopefully one day you can talk to us about Satan, Lucifer, whatever it is. And uh, what it is, because I think that's something that people have been wondering about for a long, long time. And I think only a select few have the knowledge about him well, or whatever it might be. Regardless, regardless of what I tell you, what I did, you know, like I said, when you hear people say that they sold their soul, it mm -hmm. means that they they've agreed to be cloned. All right. Even if they didn't agree, most of these people don't even know what they're getting themselves into but that's what it means i promise you this is how they control the world the narrative like i said uh salma hayek right who's a replication clone of Medea. i promise you this is a hundred percent facts she has like 25 million followers on instagram mind you the power that a lot of these puppets have it, it, they have power believe me like um and and they the quote-unquote elite they already know, like, beforehand, you know, like, for instance, the Plan B, the Plan B Megadeth album that has Plan B on it, that has me on it, that was released back in 2004, right? I didn't have no Let's Be Real ENT album out, but this is what the Illuminati is, I promise you. Like, what this do, is what, what the uh, I'm curious. What does your family? Do you talk to them about this? Do they know about it? Or have you talked? Do you do you talk to friends or people in person about this type of stuff? And what do they say? Um, nah, they don't know, really. Um, the, um, I do know that when I was younger, I had my appendix removed, so that can play a part to how it all came came together, right? So you've never talked about this with anybody uh, in your personal life? Uh, yeah, people here and there. And what, how do they react to this? How, what do they say? The same as everybody else. Most, you know, they don't. They don't understand. It's a lot of information to process. Is it so difficult for so you even, to live? I don't bother. I don't bother. Just, you know. Right. That's why I wanted to ask you. Is it difficult to live with all this knowledge and say, hmm, there's no one out there. There's very few people that I can actually even are willing to listen to what I'm saying. 
Yeah, it is. It gets annoying sometimes when people mock me and they, you know, without even... What, what, what pisses me off the most is how when people think they're so smart when they're really just dumb, you know, and they mock me. They, they, they're just... Me. they they. It's like when people get mad that you're not brainwashed, when they get mad because you don't believe what they're saying about the vax. Same, same stuff. Well, isn't that part of the conditioning in a way that people will get mad as soon as you introduce, j just even introduce the, the possibility of something, uh, of some hijinks going on in society? Yeah, I mean, like everything that I just showed right now, even though it was a lot, I feel like it's still not enough, though. Even though, like, look at what I just showed, you know? Mm -hmm. You're never... Put it this way, um, I am the most truther on the entire planet, BDA. I'm not here trying to be, you know, that's why I appreciate you for even letting me reveal all this or like, giving me a platform um, because out of all the people out there, the philosophers, the woo-woo, Alan Watts, Santos Bonacci, Bro Sanchez, Young Pharaoh, all these little quote-unquote woke dudes, they're not telling you nothing, nothing that I have showed you, I promise you. The day you they can show you of, of um you know or because it's out there you know how I showed you that um they put me on a New York Times page uh huh they have they have you too BDA they have everybody right but it's just it's just can you find it well certainly not on YouTube unless you have like I said I put the the, the link to your channel uh, YouTube has that's why one of the reasons why we moved. Or we're starting to move a little bit over to Odyssey because on Odyssey you just have more freedom. You can play copyrighted, oh, yeah. you can play copyrighted material. I mean, you can use it as fair use, you know, as, as long as you're not playing the whole fucking movie or, or show or whatever. As long as you're using snippets for fair use and actually commenting over it, I think that should be allowed. But here on YouTube, they are they are allowing it a little bit more, but they're still like, for example, if you question certain things, they'll just take you off and they'll they'll label it as bullying. Which is completely nonsensical. You should be allowed to question everything and not be, be called a bully. Uh, that to me is just a cop out to to shut discussions yeah, down. We, yeah, but you're always going to come across assholes, and like he said, they're either closing drones that don't want to fucking hear about this, and they're going to try to discredit them. So you know, fuck them. They're fucking assholes for trying to suppress his message. No, but I'm saying what I just showed you right now of New York Times putting me on their website. Has anyone ever, ever showed you something like that? Anyone? I gotta tell you, it was pretty, no. pr pretty amazing. I gotta say. No one on no one on earth ever, none. Uh, to all the people in the chat listening, the stuff that I've shown on my channel, I, I promise you, like, I'm not trying to be, you you know, no one on earth has shown the stuff I've shown. Now, there's stuff on there that people have, but there's also information that is nowhere, you're never going to find it anywhere. The stuff about um, corn bugs. I'm telling you, corn bugs, Buckethead, the band that Buckethead, he was a guitarist for that band. They made a whole album about the Picton Farms, and I broke it down. I broke it down with evidence and facts, and they also put me on an album cover, so there's no excuses. Now, if if you ever went up to Buckethead and you told them, "Hey, it's me, Fighter Spirit, uh, John Schroen," you know, uh, 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 do you think he'd shun you like these other celebrities for his safety, or do you think he would embrace you? He would embrace me because he's a real one. Some of them, some of them would shut their pants, but they all know who I am. Embrace you secretly or, or openly? Yeah, that's a oh, good question. Secretly, secretly, no, secretly. Uh, oh, okay, 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 got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a good point right there, man. Well, listen, uh, whew, you said a lot, man. And like I told people at the beginning of this show, you better buckle up because this one was going to be bumpy, and it, it did get bumpy a little bit in there, but uh, we got through it fine. We were able to uh, to really get the gist of Fighter Spirit's story, but like he said, it's only the uh, the tip of the iceberg. For more information on his theories, you can check out his channel, Let's Be Real Entertainment. I posted the link there in the chat. So uh, I think we're going to call it a night. Too. What's that? And a Discord, too. Uh, well, you can talk to him on yeah, Discord. Discord? Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, on BDA, his... I'm on BDA's Discord. Most people already know who I am. They just thought I was full of shit because they're too lazy to do any research. I mean, yeah, that's true, man. Some people just don't do their, their due diligence. Not true, but you know. No, of course not me. But uh, yes, most people don't do their diligence. So yeah, he's talking, he's talking about John. But in, in the event, so yeah, uh, check out. Uh, oh yeah. You... Um, but last thing, BD, I'm sorry to cut you off. Mind you, all, all the stuff that I just showed you. Mm -hmm. Why does why have you seen the Modelo fighting? Can you pop that up real quick for one last thing, and then I can you know, I'll, I'll let you go. The what? The what? 
The Modelo commercials of the fighting spirit. Modelo commercial. Like, where they do yeah, like different people that, and shit? Yeah, a lot of fighters and firemen and, and stuff like that. Fighters, basketball players, athletes, just all type of celebrities. And they have this uh, commercial, the fighting it's big spirit. for the UFC. Yeah, UFC too. Thing. And sometimes in like boxing matches, like big events, they'll play the ad during the arena and play it on the big screen. It huh. has to do with me. I promise you. Well, you don't have to say you promise. I mean, we, we like I said, you, we, you, you're amongst friends here. Uh, I'm playing one such well, commercial here. What's going on here? Some guy tattooing people. Is that? Have you ever seen celebrities with tattoos on that are specifically referencing you or? Um, nah, not really. Interesting. Be on the lookout for that. You never know, man. Because that's everyone's oh, yeah. tattoos. Oh, uh, huh? yeah. Good, good thing to mention. Uh, um, from now on, yeah, be on the lookout for code about Jack in the Box and Plan B. That's the stuff you need to pay attention to. Plan B but, and Jack in the Box. But, but hey, that's my question. Jack in the Box, I got it. I mean, you can see it most of the time. I mean, but when it comes to the, 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 the uh, what did you call it? The, the legend there about trapping the no no about trapping the devil in the, in the dime. Who was it again? That was a uh, Jiggy Small. No, what was Horn. it? Right, but then the, the American version was uh, Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack, yeah, Stingy Jack. That one, especially in October, that's usually just when it pops up, right? The Jack Lantern. You oh, know, yeah, you, there's a whole holiday after me. That's 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 right there for you to see the whole the whole. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the the Jack Lantern is uh -huh. because. When Stingy Jack freed the devil, the devil came back to him again. He ended up tricking the devil again. And then he, and this is just all metaphorical, right? You don't get freaked out. Um, yeah. For the real story that I put on my channel, um, he, you know, life goes on. The devil frees him. He, the devil promises to never take his soul because he, uh, Stingy Jack freed him. Uh, the life goes on. Stingy Jack dies. Stingy Jack goes to heaven. God doesn't allow him into heaven for whatever reason. Um, so Stingy yeah. Jack goes. So Stingy Jack goes to hell. Let me in, Satan. Knock, knock. But then the devil, I made a deal to never bring you to hell. So here's this. He grabs an ember. This is where Jack Lanter comes from. He grabs an ember and gives it to Stingy Jack to light his way because he's a wandering soul who will roam the earth forever. And the he put he grabbed the ember that Satan gave him, put it in a, I think a, back then they didn't have, a, 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 what do they call it, the pumpkins? It was a, yeah. another type of fruit. He carved some holes in it, put the ember in, and he made a lantern. And that's where Jack O'Lantern comes from. And he's roaming his way. The metaphor is Lucifer giving Jack the light to light his way. It's another uh, metaphor for trapping the devil, you know? Well, I got to tell you this. For what I'm telling you. Yeah, I got to tell oh. you, this was dynamite, man. I'm, I'm uh, very uh, pleased with the episode that we went. I'm, 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 okay, last question, last question. Have you ever heard of the, the yeah. legend of John the Conqueror? Uh, I have Final not. Mind. Okay, well, I was going to ask you about that one, but if you don't know what it is, then it's probably not uh, related to you. Although it could be related to you and you don't know about no, it. It, it. It could it could be, you know? It could yeah. be. I don't know. Um, That's what the jack of our trades represents. Have you ever heard the jack is our trades? No. Truth is said in jest. Truth is said in jest because the jack in the box toy, which is a music box. And a music box, by the way, I'm an artist, you know? I'm the most... I'm the greatest artist to ever walk the earth. The most, no other artist will ever show you this. And I'm, I'm not to trying that, to be man. narcissistic. I'm not trying to be, I'm just telling you straight facts. I promise you like, okay. Um, the music box, music revolves around. It's crazy that a Jack in the box is a music box, right? With a crank and then a jester comes out. That's why mm -hmm. the, the term truth is said in jest. And also music, everything revolves around music. We learn the ABCs, A, B, C, or your heart beat. It's a drum, your mm -hmm. eardrums, you know, your organs, right? Like a piano, the, your temple, right? Your instrumentals, everything revolves around music. And um, yeah, every time you see a wishing well, the next time you go to your local mall, you see a wishing well. Mm -hmm. People don't just stand in front of a wishing well and wish. You have, a th you have to throw a coin in it because a, um, a promise must be granted. An offering must be granted. And um. The whole wishing well things come up, the whole wishing well stuff, why we use wishing wells, it has to do with John Storm. Just look up why wishing wells are a thing, because they were believed to carry. Um, what what happens if you go near a wishing well? 
Um, you don't know what wishing wells are for? No. What happens if you, specifically you, John Shorn? Oh, I mean, I would probably just say a prayer. Um, probably make my own wish. That's that's it. I'm not, you know. But well, I, I was just asking in terms of maybe something hap maybe something special would happen because you you're essentially returning to the source. Oh no, no, it's a, it's a see the thing is it's a it's a metaphor. What right. you're reading on Wikipedia, what they're telling you about Stingy Jack is their theory. I'm giving you the ex very exact truth. I, pr I promise you. And um, um, yeah. if if you go on Wikipedia, they say the whole wishing well tradition comes from um, believing that. Fuck, I forgot what it says. But if you look, it will tell you something about waters being uh, waters carrying miraculous property or something. It has to do with John Shorn. As during a drought, he discovered a well whose waters were rumored to have miraculous properties. Right? That's right. I got to tell you, some people could be... Shorn, but I made a whole video. If, if you guys don't know more, just look on Let's Be Real ENT, the wishing wall video. All my if, videos. There's if not you one have, video... If, uh, there's I not posted one the video. link. Or I don't mean to prom promote, you know. No, I just no, no, make no. It clear that's that. what you're here for. Hey, listen, you were generous enough to give us your time, and uh, of course, you you're, you you should be uh, giving your, your the link to your channel because I mean, people if people want to, oh, like yeah, you well, said, we only scratch the surface. We didn't even we didn't even, we just we just got started. <laughs> we just got yeah, started, exactly. and it's already yeah. So let me put I just the link. Say to, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say um. Don't be afraid to binge watch my channel because there's not one video where it's just like some, oh, you know, I for, I made for the fuck of it. I'm unsure. I promise you, every single one of my video, Fox created a show up to me. Just know that much, you know. So don't be afraid to binge watch my channel. Like I'm not trolling. I'm not, you know, I'm not a low life wasting my time. I'm under contract and I have to show all this. Long story short. Long story short, I mean, listen, <laughs> we want to get to the story at some point, but that's no fucking problem. It's just too long. But at least we got to part of it here in this exclusive interview with the Fighter Spirit, this expose, as it were. And uh, there's nothing we more. Need we, more. Think we need more. The people demand more. It's just it's going to be hard to fit it all into one tight knit little package. We did our best. We did our best. And I got to give a, a shout out to everybody that uh, helped us. Get to the bottom of this HBTC, uh, John. Thank you for dropping by. Soothsayer also dropped by as well, and of course, Fighter Spirit for uh, being generous enough to give us his time and get, to tell his side of the story and all of this. Because again, you can believe or disbelieve what he's saying, but he's here. He's telling you how it's going down and how it's been going down for centuries. So it's up to you now to to open your mind and do your own research. Do your own research. Exactly. There you, go. there you go yes and also halloween is basically a day to remember the saints i remember john shorn was basically a saint just never officially canonized it's, it's basically a holiday after me but yeah i wouldn't doubt it i wouldn't doubt it uh yeah the people in the chat are asking what's the next episode going to be about well that's a good question i've got a couple of things planned uh worst case scenario uh second renaissance week lasts all the way up until sunday so we got until sunday for more shows i think the oj episode we're going to be saving it for next month which is going to be the 20th anniversary i believe or 19th 18th something like that no sorry 30th i think 30 something anniversary anyway we're gonna work on that we got a bodybuilding episode with jimmy He's going to give us his expertise on nutrition, how to juice, the dangers involved, and perhaps even, uh, as always with Jimmy, some of his stories uh, uh, dabbling in the world, or actually dabbling, or swimming in the world, in the waters of bodybuilding. We're also going to do one of those uh, shows where we talk about the occult, uh, conspiracy theories. We always have the Odyssey channel in case things get too on the deep end. We can always go over there. And uh, we're safe over there. We can talk about more stuff. We can show more stuff here on, on YouTube. We are quite restrained, but we make it work. We make it work. In any event, shout out to everybody that joined us. Fighter Spirit, anything else you want to say before we go? Any last words, last messages, uh, uh, words yeah, of hope? Before we go, is there any anything else on the Discord that uh, you didn't show that I sent you on your messages? I think there might be no. Uh, just real quick. Yeah, let me do a double sweep here just to uh, make sure. What was it? Hold on a second. Uh, I think I went through everything. Well, you saw the, the Sandra Bullock, Gematria, the New York Times article. Uh, your there's something about pigs, corn bugs. We didn't play that video. Uh, oh you, yeah, you, you put something about aliens, and you said that they put them in Star Wars. Is that another uh, sort of predictive yeah, that, programming? Th yeah, that that's what a real type three lizard basically looks like. The they want it because they talk. 
right? They talk, they talk like us. They're at the cloning centers and um, they wanted to be in a movie and to see what the public thought about them. And that's exactly what they look like. And well, at, at their, at their best, they get very ugly, but this is when they're at their best, right? Just like that. Exactly like that. And um, in the movie, the Kaminoans have a cloning. 90 seconds. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, keep going. In the movie, this movie where they have these Kaminoans, they also have a cloning facility. No kidding. No kidding. And they want to be in the movie. I tell you, everyone wants to be a star in this gosh darn world, even the aliens. Well, listen, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you, but I suppose we'll, we'll, I'll probably ask you on the Discord or when we do another episode on this. I wanted to ask you about the real society too, because some people have brought it up. I think it was Aldo brought it up at some point during in one of the other shows, and uh, that's a whole thing. I mean, that's enough info right there for for another show. So we'll get to it, man. We'll get to it. We just got to get organized here. In any event, shout out to everybody that joined us. Of course, Fighter Spirit, HBTC, Suitsayer, John.